Hello YouTubers, uh, just here to do a quick tutorial for LaptopScreens.com. This will be for the removal and installation of a new monitor on an Acer Aspire 7540G. For tools that I needed for this, I had bought a very inexpensive, I believe quite literally maybe a dollar at a dollar store, little jeweler's set of screwdrivers something like that there and out of that inexpensive set I only needed one it was the second largest Phillips size screwdriver now I've skipped ahead a little bit just in order to make things a little bit quicker for everybody but I'll still explain what I've done up to this point so there's a little bumper from down in here uh, another one from the other bottom corner one from each this top corner this top corner to the right of your webcam there's another one and this one here I have yet to take out and that'll just be to show you how easy it is these little bumpers are held on with just a little bit of adhesive over top of a screw so it's as easy as some people recommend using an exacto knife really not that difficult all you have to do is take something like your fingernail or another little screw just get in behind that little bumper and peel it up. Comes up fairly easy. You'll notice the adhesive when it lifts up and you should be able to see the screw right in behind it. If you can't see the screw that will be because sometimes the adhesive stays over top of the screw instead of on the back of the bumper. But once you've done that, just like I've done with these others, you'll take your screwdriver, a little Phillips screwdriver, and peel this out here. So that's the last screw to come out. But uh, something to be cautious of is as you're taking the screws out, that don't drop them, be very careful with them. A magnetic tip is best so that you don't lose them. Uh, another thing you can do is just simply keep something there or even another little magnet very close. You're not going to damage anything with that. That way, once the screw is able to come out, it'll go onto the magnet. You're not going to lose anything. Uh, keep your screws in separate piles. So I've taken off all my bumpers. I've made a little pile in this case of bumpers as well as a second little pile of all the screws that have come out now. Uh, what I'm going to do when I take out the remaining screws is they'll go into another little trough here just enough to keep them separated. But for what it's worth you'll notice that they aren't very similar. Only in screw type are they similar. So so long as you keep them all, you should be fairly safe. Uh, what I'm doing now is just loosening up the bottom clip portion. With that done, you should be able to grab onto your bezel. It'll be a little bit looser now without the screws on it. And without any force at all, you can lift up just on an edge here. Once you have that, just slide your fingers underneath that gap you've created. And you'll hear popping. It's not breaking, just popping as the little kind of friction connections let loose. Now what I did over here and what I'll do over here is I'm going to loosen these clip, clips up. There's a wide side and a narrow side. Go in that little bit more wide open side with another screwdriver and just help it along by giving it a lift up and out. And once that is done, your bevel is loose, nothing is broken, and you should be good just to set it aside next bit fairly easy you have screws one here one here and one here now another thing you can do is take a marker and actually mark these holes because there are extra holes down the side I've already had the bevel off and I've marked these so what you'll be able to notice here on the side I have a black mark here and another one on the underside and I did the same thing further below on this screw and the next one down. That allows me when I go to put it back together that I'll be able to see where these screws actually come out because there is another hole right here that doesn't actually from the manufacturer doesn't have a screw in it. So I'll uh, again stop the recording here for a bit while I go ahead and just get some of these screws out. Okay I'm back all of about a uh, minute later here after taking out all six screws everything is now free all you have to do is very lightly 
try not to have your monitor tipped forward, otherwise it's going to start to fall out right off the bat. Actually, right there is a case in point. Try and have your monitor back a little bit so that doesn't happen. And as soon as you go to peel it out, you're going to notice wires up near the top. I'm going to try and get in a little bit closer there. Right up here with the webcam, there's a bit of adhesive on this wire. So you just hold on to it and let it peel off. That frees up your webcam so that you're not pulling on any wires and stressing out anything on the inside. Peel off the wire, again coming across the back, over to where your connection is. Now right here, you can actually see even with the reflection of the light, they have a bit of tape that goes all the way past the connection and holds it in. So you just want to very gently, just your fingernails, all you need is lift this adhesive up. Once you've exposed the connection, grab the back of that wire and just gently pull. It's a very, very quick little pull out. Your LED is now free. So this one here will be coming out. New one will be going in. And it should be just that simple of a replacement. What I've done here is just while waiting for the new monitor, I bent the tape backwards so I could just keep that stuck up there. Okay, so now with that all free to go, provided that you've now got your new monitor, your connection is in the same place your old connection was, uh, your model numbers, everything matches up, you should be good to go just to keep the adhesive tape out of the way. Line up your connectors there. It should just be a very, very nice, gentle connection. And then reapply your adhesive tape there to keep everything connected nice and neat. You'll quickly stand, not I guess not quickly, but gently stand your monitor up. As you bring it back up into the top, you can reapply that adhesive for your web camera. And then you'll just make sure everything is sitting nice and flush. With your screws handy, you can go ahead and just start putting everything back together. Go to those areas that were marked. Your screen should be a perfect match. And then it's just all about getting your screws back in. I'm just going to do a couple here. I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of my screws put back in. But just to save a bit of time here on the video and quickly just skip ahead so that you're not wasting much time watching me just use a screwdriver. Okay, I'm back again here. I've actually put in the remainder of the screws, so uh, one e on each side at the tops here and here, another one near the middle here and here, and again down below. So, now in reapplying the bezel, fairly simple procedure, uh, just get your clips down in the bottom, set down in first, keep your screen back so that it's easy to get those in, they just click down, once that's done, you can just hear it click faintly as you go around the edges. That'll be just everything you need to just get everything snapped into place. And I'm just applying pressure while sliding my hand. All that's required pops the bezel back on and gets you all set up for reintroducing and reapplying your screws. Is that as you put your screw back in, you'll put it into your into and through your bezel. So that's one screw back in there. And then with these little rubber caps that we have pulled off before, just a little bumper looking thing again, they were actually held on by an adhesive. And without that adhesive there now, they're not going to stay there that well unless you either take a small dab of super glue, and that shouldn't hurt it just as long as you're not overdoing it. Just, just literally one drop on the back of this little bumper just enough to attach it to the back of the screw. Then when you close your monitor, you're all set up. But it's fairly simple again. Uh, your bezel's are going to be put back on, your screws put back into place, and then your little pile of bumpers you can put back on again. That's our repair on our monitor. That should be about as hard as it is. And the average user, somebody who's not ever done this before, doesn't have to be afraid of this repair. Really